This is video number 10 on the sheep's head adjustment document. And the purpose of it is to show the rotation of the dealer. Uh, in this case, the dealer is number one. And I marked it with this. That will remain the dealer throughout the hand. On the next hand, player two will be the dealer. A uh, hand is the playing of all 30 cards. So we've got the cards laid out here. Each player has six cards. There's five players. That's the 30 cards. The two here in the middle, that is the blind, circled in red. Um, ten hands is one game. So I'm going to show you one hand. and This would be one-tenth of an entire game. A trick is six cards played, one by each player. The highest valued card wins the trick. Uh, the piece of paper right here, this is just for me to organize the video. It has nothing to do with the game. The other things will pertain to the game, like player three, the dealer, the lead, those things. Uh, okay, player number, or picture number one. Uh, player number one is the dealer. All players have six cards. They're all face down right now. The blind is in front of the dealer, marked in red, mentioned earlier. And player number two will lead. The player to the left of the dealer always leads to start the hand. All right. Picture number two. And picture number two, for the purpose of the video, the cards have been turned face up. So you can see what everyone has. Normally you wouldn't be able to see that. Cards are sorted correctly using the trump, club, spades, and hearts format. So if we looked at any one of these, we'd see that the three trump are first, then clubs, then hearts. This one didn't have any spades. So they are all sorted correctly, I believe. Player number two has the lead because they're the first person past the dealer. And that means that they play first. On the first hand, the lead is always to the player left of the dealer. Players two, three, and four would all pass. These are not good enough hands to pick on, so they would pass. Number five, though, is going to pick up. This is a good hand, and he is going to take the blind and add it to his hand, which will be our next play, our next picture. Okay, so player number five's cards with the two cards from the blinds added in the correct position, and they're elevated. So I put the seven where it would go in the lineup and I put the ace of spades where it would go in the lineup and those cards right now are elevated. I'd like to see that too electronically so that they come into the right place and they are elevated. So that is what that person's hand would look like before they discarded. Uh, this is uh, player number five's cards. They're properly sorted down here. Two cards to be buried are the ace of spades and the ace of clubs. So that player took these two cards out and they're going to turn them face down. And those points, those 22 points, 11 for each card, will count towards the picker and partner's uh, point total for the hand. Um, all right, number six. Or number five. Number five. Uh, player number two leads and they're, they're going to lead the jack of diamonds and we also jack of diamonds is a trump all other players must play a trump if they have one so three plays the king which is a trump four plays the eight and number five plays the queen of diamonds because player two has the jack of diamonds he is the partner so everyone knows these this player player five and player two are now working together Player five wins the hand because the queen of diamonds is the most powerful of the five on the table. So this is the best card of the five that were played. This player wins the trick. And player five, because he won the trick, will also lead the next card. So he'll choose another card to play. Let's go on to uh, picture number six. Up here. Okay. Uh, number five leads, as I said, because he, uh, so the lead, I marked it right here, because he won that trick. So he leads, he leads the queen of clubs. That's a trump. It's the top trump. He's going to win this trick also. Um, 
number one does not have a trump, so he can play any card that he wants. Does not have to play one of the clubs because these are not trump, and the queen of clubs is a trump. So seven of hearts. Number two plays one of his two trump. He could have played the queen of hearts. He's saving the big one. Uh, in Plus ten of diamonds is ten points for their team because this guy is going to take the trick. So trump, trump, and trump. Uh, number five wins the hand because the queen of clubs is the most powerful on the table and will lead again. Picture number seven. Uh, number five leads the queen of spades, which is a trump. Number one does not have a trump and can play any card. And he plays the eight of spades. Number two plays a trump. Number three does not have a trump, plays seven of clubs. Number four plays a trump. Number five wins the hand because the queen of spades is the top card on the table. And number five will lead again because he took the trick. Picture number eight. Number five leads trump. Nine of diamonds is trump. All other players play fail because they do not have trump. So you can, they can play any card they want because they don't have any trump. And because the nine of diamonds is trump, it is the most powerful card of these five. And number five wins the trick again and will lead again. And uh, number, it leads Trump again. All the players have fail. Uh, of course, number five is going to win this hand again because that seven is better than all these other cards. Trump is always better than fail. Picture number 10. Number five leads the 10 of spades. All the players play their last card. Number five wins this hand because no other player could follow suit. Even though this is fail, the only cards that could beat this would be Trump, and no one else has Trump, or the Ace of Spades, which is buried. So this is actually the top card. And so number five also gets that trick. All right, let's go on to number 11. Uh, these are number five's cards. And if number two would have taken a trick or anyone else would have taken a trick, I would have showed those also. In this case, number five took all the tricks and they had 22 points buried. So if you were to add up all the points, like kings are worth four, and jacks are worth two, and tens are worth 10, queens are worth three, aces are worth 11, you would have come up with 120 points. And normally, maybe in a more typical hand, those would be spread out, but in this case, number five took them all. Um, next thing here. Oh, for scoring. Number one, player number one would lose three points because his team was a, he was the losing team and he did not take any points. Their team did not take any points. Number two would get three points because he was on the winning team. They got 120 points and he was the partner. So number two would get three a positive three points. Number three would would lose three points because they were on the losing team and didn't take a trick or any points. Number four. Would, for the same reason, would lose three points. No points. They didn't take any points of the hand or tricks. And number five would get six points because he was on the winning team and they got 120 points and he was the picker. The picker gets double whatever the partner gets. So partner got three, picker gets six. And number 12. Uh, this is the probably the main part of the video as far as the progression of the dealer. The deal, this is the start of the second hand, and player number two becomes the dealer. On the first hand, the one that we just played, player number one was the dealer. When that finishes, it just rotates to the left. After all 30 cards are played, Player three would be the next dealer. 30 cards are played. Player four would be the dealer. So it will continue to rotate in a clockwise direction. After all the cards are played, all the points are tallied, and a score is assigned, the deal moves one place to the left.